Hey guys, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and we're playing SimCity... Oh, wait a minute. In this video, I'm going to show you the best layout, well, I think it's the best layout, for your services buildings. Now, we're going to talk about the basic services, which are kind of like the middle size services, and we're going to talk about the deluxe. I'm not going to get into the small buildings because I figure that you can just figure that out yourself, and in my opinion, they're not really that useful placing those small, um, you know, service items. So, let's get right into the video. Do we need to talk about the services really quick? Okay, really, really quick for the person in the back. And if you guys just want to skip along to the layout, that's fine. I'll put a, a timestamp in the description to show where I finally start showing the layout and talking about that and whatnot. But this is for everybody else. Okay, you have three different services that you are going to uh, need to keep in your city in order to keep your population, your sims, happy. So these three services are fire, police, and health. All right? Now... The one thing that you got to remember about this is, is that you don't get them all at the same time. You progressively unlock the service buildings. And so, each services provides for you three level facilities. So you have like the small, the basic, and then let's just call them the deluxe. All right, we'll get into that. Level five unlocks the fire station. Um, level 12 is when you unlock the police. And then, level 16 is when you unlock the health. Now, more into the services. Um, let's get into the pricing of it. Okay, so you have your small fire station, for instance, 6,100 simoleons. Your basic fire station, 11,000 11, simoleons, and your deluxe fire station, 42,000. So obviously you're spending more with the basic and the deluxe, um, but it is well worth it when you look at the area of influence, or you could just call it your coverage. Um, now the fire station is a little different than the rest of these guys, in my opinion, is kind of the most difficult um, because the the um, the area of influence or the coverage is it's it's a different. It's a different size than the rest of them. So like the basic fire station, uh, coverage is 10 by 12. But then when you go down here to the police station, the basic police station is 12 by 12. And on over to the health, it's also 12 by 12. And you get the same thing going on. Uh, the same sort of ratios are reflected as you are um, getting into the different different sizes so like the small uh, fire station the basic fire station and the deluxe fire station all have um, the same similar type of uh, area of coverage all right now i also want to talk about the max's mainer just for a second the max's mainer is something that you can buy with sim cash and it gives you coverage on your fire your police and your health so that's a better solution if you want to spend some sim cash now the first Max's Manor costs you 1,000 SIM casts. But as you buy more, they cost you more, and I think it caps out at about $8,000. So your first Max's Manor is $1,000. Your second one is $2,000. I mean, SIM cash. SIM cash. SIM cash, guys. The third one is 4,000 SIM cash, and then, like I said, the fourth one is 8,000. I don't have four. Um, Max's Manors, I have one. So I don't know what happens once you reach that fourth one. I don't know if you can't buy anymore or what the deal is. But that's for another video, so I'm not going to talk any more about that. Now, what else do we need to talk about here? Um, things to consider. Small fire stations or, well, let's say small service items or basic service items the comparison you want to know you in the back there you want to know which one should you purchase my opinion you should just hold off let your sims be kind of you know save your money go ahead and buy the basic because it's only half the amount when you look at it and um 
even though you get like half the coverage and everything like that I just as far as like fitting all the buildings in and it's it's just uh, it's gonna be a whole lot to try to work with the small uh, the small building so in my opinion I would tell you hold off get you that basic fire station at level 5 get you that basic police station at level 12 and get you that basic health clinic at level 16 then when you have enough money and you're ready to really expand go ahead and buy those deluxe now you can either sell the other ones that you bought back and get half of your simoleons back or you can just keep them for another little uh, area that you may be working on so now we are ready to get into the layout alright so this is something that I put together here and like I said this is my opinion and there are others as a matter of fact I've shown another layout with the basic items but this is one that I kinda put together and as you can see we have parks we have uh, buildings we have um, landscaping other items I think that this is not that bad right um, so let's look at it alright let's start out with our fire alright so here is our fire coverage now let me let me bring this out here for you guys so you can see so you see that we're getting this coverage is 10 by 12 you see that is orientated kind of a like a portrait type of deal now the other thing to notice is where the cutoff is even though we're kind of cheating here even though the cutoff is right in the middle of this building here these buildings here they're covering the whole building so that's kind of a strategy that you guys can use you can squeeze in one more building so to speak so uh, now another thing you need to look at is in order to have an orientated portrait this way you have to have these side roads bring it back to here I can't rotate it I can't I can't rotate it here I can't rotate it unless I have that road along the side so that's how I'm able to do that all right now the other ones are pretty 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 self-explanatory again they're they're just the coverage is squares 12 by 12 for the health clinic 12 by 12 for the uh, for the police so it's real simple there and how that goes um, so there's my layout now you probably want to copy the road structure and I'll give you I'll give you a look-see at that well, don't take notice of the folks that are a little upset because of uh, it's probably just the size buildings that I have in here and, and we'd upgrade the roads if we were gonna keep this layout but looky here so we've got our border around the 12 by 12 I'm not sure let's see one two three four five six buildings so that's that's actually encompassing a 12 by 12 um, gr grid grid I was gonna say grud that would have been a new word there but the grid structure there and so you got your 12 by 12 border and then you're able to fit two buildings in right after that you split the road and this is where you curve around you have this little thing here and the reason I have this road right here is because uh, there's that space and this just breaks up the traffic uh, a little bit better I could have just continued with parks and things like that but um, I wanted to do it this way so you know it works it works is it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen probably not so this is something that works like I said what you want to do is you want to get to the point where you're purchasing the deluxe the 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 uh, the precincts things like that and I'm going to show you that right now I'm going on to my capital city here and some of you that have been following this channel you remember when I constructed this and coming up pretty soon I will be redesigning my city I've seen some ideas floating out there and I want to try them all right so this one here you've seen me actually talk about this if you watch my videos this is the layout for your deluxes you see so we have them laid out just like this and this grants you coverage grants you coverage see the coverage it's pretty good coverage 
you can get a and, and you see how that makes a lot more sense because you can fit a lot more buildings in there of course it costs you know I don't know how much three times as much maybe three times as much but in my opinion we're all about expanding here in the game and that's what we want to do so with that being said I'm not gonna drag the video out talk your head off that's pretty much what you wanted to see what is the layout and let me show you the roads what is the layout for it and there it is right there and uh, again we're getting a coverage now of 22 by 22 22 by 22 um, is what we're getting so go ahead and copy that if you want to it's not the easiest layout to copy I, I give you that but um, it looks a lot better than that other one I would say like I said this is really if you know the channel or if you've been rolling with me for any amount of time it's about that time guys to tear everything down and redesign the city that's coming up pretty soon so you guys make sure you subscribe drop me a comment and uh, I'll holler at you guys next time. Peace out.